I started Single Daddy Daily right after my divorce, and I'm ashamed to say that I did it for all the wrong reasons. There was a lot of pain, and after my divorce, I felt like I wanted to share that with the world, to give a voice to all the anguish and sorrow I was feeling. I needed a catharsis, and I used Single Daddy Daily as my vehicle. I soon found out that this wasn't the approach I needed to take. Our mission at Single Daddy Daily is to take the struggle out of single parenthood and create a community where people can find the tools to thrive as single parents. Strong, resilient, happy kids is always the goal as parents, a goal that can become more challenging when facing parenthood alone or in a blended family. Divorce and single parenting is more and more common now than ever. The challenges that we face as single parents permeate all aspects of our life. We want to be the number one resource for single parents out there who are having a tough time navigating the waters of single parenthood. We cover everything from parenting strategies to dating after divorce, finding love after divorce, and creating a new blended family. Divorce can rob us of those feelings of acceptance, and it took me a while after my divorce to learn to love and accept myself. To be honest, some days I still struggle with that. We all do. Single Daddy Daily is still my place of catharsis, but now it's from a place of love and not anger. Hurt people hurt people. That's why the cycle of hate and hurt continue to live on unless we are the change as parents first that this world needs. We are here for you, and this is what this community is all about. Don't just survive, thrive. The Single Daddy Daily way. We are a movement, we are a tide, and we are rising. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of the Single Daddy Daily uh, podcast with your host, Drew Manning, and I think I'm Evan DeMarco. I, I've been in captivity so long, I don't even remember my own name. So, Very true. Uh, I, I feel your pain. <laughs> how you doing, man? Like, you know, it's, it's obviously we're, we're kind of going on second month of, of uh, quarantine here for coronavirus. How are things going with you? Yeah, that's a good question. You know, it's uh, it's interesting times. We've I think we've adapted to this new environment that we're in. Um, so I'm making the best of it. You know, I feel like the first month was really stressful because it was so new. The second month was like, all right, what small changes can I make? What can I let go of? And so for me, it's been a transition from month one to month two, even though it still sucks. Like I, I hate the fact that I can't travel, that I can't hang out with friends. Although here in Utah, at least, it is becoming more normal, quote unquote normal, where businesses are starting to slowly open. And, uh, you know, just the other day, we were able to see a couple uh, friends, you know, just in small groups and, and things like that. So that was kind of a, a, a refreshing, to be honest with you. But um, my hope is that, well, I would love to go back to normal. But honestly, I don't know if we ever will. I really don't know if it'll be normal. I feel like social distancing is going to become a thing of the future of like, all right, now we have to stay six feet apart at a restaurant and a movie theater, hanging out, you know, with people going to the grocery store. It's, it's just weird to think like that's how it's going to be. And it probably will be like that for a long time. Yeah. So, you know, you could either just, you know, hate it or you could just accept it as it is and, and realize that this might be the new normal. <laughs> Which is, it brings up something interesting, right? If this is the new normal, and I completely agree, we're not going back to the way things were. Like for single parents out there, this represents a whole new world of dating. I mean, like dating in general is going to change, right? Like <laughs> there was going to be a time it's like, well, I needed an STD test. Now it's like, I need a antibody test before we can go out on a date. Yeah, exactly. Show me your, show me your results. Make sure you're coronavirus free, and then the first date's awkward because you're six feet away the whole time. <laughs> yeah, like, like how do you even do that? Like we're, yeah. we we can date, but we have to be six feet apart at all time. <laughs> can I? Can It'll I be, be interesting? The, can I be the pervert in the group? Go, go ahead. Go this ahead. is only going to work for guys with really long penises. <laughs> It's interesting. See where this goes. <laughs> That's it. Like you know, you gotta have a six foot schlong <laughs> to date in the modern world. Yeah. Maybe humans will adapt to exactly. You know, to do that, we've adapted as a species for so long now. Who knows? <laughs> the, the next evolutionary trait will be really long penises, so that you can have relationships, but still say corona free. Yes. That's so funny, man. Interesting time. So, <laughs> no, but uh, over, overall, we're doing good, brother. We're doing good. Just moving forward with life. It's interesting like, to think that for the most part, summer started with our kids. Like, you know, you know how summer months are? Like, you know, there's no school. There's no work to be done. It's like, all right, how am I going to entertain my kid all day long? And we've kind of had a shortened or, or we, uh, school is kind of, yeah, there's work to be done, but it's not the same as them being at work or at school. And so this is going to be the longest summer 
ever in history. Totally. <laughs> I think with as a parent. So I, I don't the, know what to do because no, you can't I, travel either. Like, like where, the, where am I going to go for summer vacation? <laughs> the living room. <laughs> the living room again. <laughs> I know it's, you know, obviously we're, we're doing single daddy daily poolside today and this has become the new normal, right? It's swim as much as possible. That's kind of the activity, you know, get out, walk around, try to do some scootering, but it's all of these summer plans. You know, we canceled Legoland, we canceled Disney, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's brutal. And, and, you know, it, I think we did a, an episode on this a couple of weeks ago is how do you really explain to your kids the severity of this. And I think that the reality is you can't, I mean, we can do our best to explain that people are getting sick and all that, but it's like, well, we could get on a plane and risk death um, to go to Legoland, but eh, no, we're going to stay in the backyard. Mm -hmm. I know <laughs> it's, it's so true, but you know, I, I think, I think, like I said, we've adapted from month one to month two, and we'll continue to adapt if this is the new normal. And like talking to your kids, I think, you know, the fact that, you know, our kids know the word social distancing and they know what that means or quarantine is a new time for us, you know, and so that they might grow up, you know, not really remembering the days of when you could go out in public and touch other people and hug and things like that. But my hope is that at some point it, it goes back to normal. Let's hope there's a vaccine and just like the flu, you know, this is something that, you know, the, uh, we can become immune to, or, or, you know, if you take care of your health, hopefully yeah. you don't have to worry about this too much. Yeah. And as you said, we, we all adapt in time. So it's, it's just going to be, it's, you know, the new normal is going to be, how do we adapt to this and figure out how do we move forward with life? But, you know, it's, as you said, it's a challenge. And, you know, I, I think of, did you see the Incredibles 2? Yes, I have. Yeah. We just watched that recently. <laughs> yeah, there's that moment where he's helping his kid with math, and he's like, you know, the kid's like, that's not how my teacher does it. It's like, it's math. When did they change math? They're like, <laughs> yeah. like my daughter said that to me the other day. She's like, that's not how my teacher teaches it. I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, this is how I learned it all these years ago. Like, yeah, it's interesting. That's that's. I think that's the hard part is is trying to become a, a teacher now, right? Because we're not. That's not what we do. Like, we have businesses online, and we focus on that while our kids are at school. Now it's like, all right, now we have to help our kids with homework because the teachers aren't there. And it's, there's so many new things, right? There's so many new ways of doing math or uh, just, just the way they learn. And so I, I'll be honest with you, I dread having to help my kids with their work because I don't, it's not enjoyable for me. I get so frustrated so easy because I'm like, look, you just do it, you know? And that's what the funny thing is. That's the way my dad taught me. I remember asking him for help and he just got so annoyed. I was like, all right, I'll just figure it out myself. And so I'm trying not to become that to my girls, but when you're stressed out, uh, you know, it's easy just to, you know, uh, gravitate towards the path of least resistance and just get frustrated and throw your hands up and be like, just do it. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Which doesn't work too well with young kids. No, but I'm right there with you, man. I completely understand. I think there's a lot of parents that I've talked to that, that are experiencing the same thing is we're trying to be present. We're trying to be not so frustrated, but this is a challenge, right? Like there's, there's economic implications of this virus. There's, you know, how do we work? How do we balance all the things that we used to be able to balance, you know, in, in a world where they could go away for a couple hours and, and we could get our work done. Now it's like, everything's just thrown into this blender and we're trying to figure out what the hell's going to come out at the other end. Well, look at that. We got a, uh, we got a guest here on, uh, on the podcast. I'd like to introduce you to uni. <laughs> we, we need, you need to be doing podcasts on that next time. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> so, um, we popped one the other day and it was a, it was a smaller version of this one. And so then I went online and I got a replacement unicorn because you always have to have a unicorn in the pool. Right. And this one yeah, came yeah. a whole lot bigger. So I figured this one I can get three people on um, <laughs> or myself and some podcast gear. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Well, it's entertaining to watch <clears throat> in the background in case people find this boring. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'd like to transition uh, on the off chance that people find this boring into something, um, I don't want to say bittersweet, but I, I think that's the word that I'm going to use and talk about a little of what you've got going on in your life right now. Yeah. So transitions are happening, you know, for a lot of people. Um, obviously, 2020 did not go as expected for, I think, the majority of the world. And so Single Daddy Daily, first of all, let me just kind of go back to the beginning of this whole idea and just kind of let you guys know where my heart's at um, with Single Daddy Daily. When Evan approached me with this idea, I was instantly sold on becoming a host for Single Daddy Daily because I'm a single dad. And that's kind of become part of my identity ever since I went through my divorce. 
um, I had to kind of just rediscover who I was because I went through my divorce, which, you know, I was married for 10 years and that becomes a huge part of your identity. Also, I left my religion, which is also a huge part of my identity around the same time. And I really went through the self-discovery process of, okay, who am I? And one of the things I decided on was I want to be the best dad I could be. And so I just focused on that and putting my energy towards being the best dad I could be, which ultimately had to do with a lot of self-healing, right? Because I can't show up and be the best dad if I am pouring from an empty cup, right? So for me, I had to heal myself to be able to pour from a full cup to pass on to my daughters what I've learned so that I don't pass on that hurt, that pain, that the trauma, the, the challenges I've been through. Because when you don't heal, you bleed on those who didn't hurt you. And I think that's really powerful for a lot of people listening. They don't realize how not healing is not just damaging you, it's damaging those you love and the, the people like your kids and other relationships that matter to you. And so for me, I really wanted to uh, be a part of this, this journey to share what I've learned in hopes to help other people through the healing process. Because going through a divorce is not easy. We both know that. A lot of yeah. people listening to this know that. But it's powerful. And there is good that can come from bad. There are good things that will come from these bad situations like a divorce and being a single parent. So I wanted to share what I've learned over the years. And it's been an, an awesome ride. And, and like you mentioned, okay, what's happening in the transition with my business, there's some changes that have happened to where um, this year, 2020, I've been planning some things for a while. And I just realized that with doing these other things for my fit fat fit business, it would take away from the time and energy that I would want to put into single daddy daily to, um, you know, kind of to be on par or at the same level that Evan's putting into it. Cause I felt like it was kind of unfair that, you know, I, I was focusing on my fit to fit, fit brand and these other, my, my supplement line, complete wellness, when in reality, you know, it's kind of taken away from, okay, what am I going to do for a single day daily and show up? Cause I really wanted to do it. But for me, I'm just at a point where I have to give these other things energy right now and time so that they can progress. And, um, this will be a new uh, chapter of my life. And I can't explain what it is, but here's the thing. I'll promise you this it will be worth the wait when I do announce it. Cause I wish I could announce it today, but in the next coming months, um, by August, you guys should know for sure what's happening and what I'm talking about right now. You're like, all right, this is stupid. What drew, I hate it when people say I have something I want to tell you, but I can't tell you yet. <laughs> like, I know you guys hate me for that, but I promise you it'll be worth the wait when it does happen. And you know, I think that's, so, so I want to say thank you first and foremost for, you know, for everything, right. It's, um, we talked about it on, I think, our first podcast. And when I started this journey of Single Daddy Daily, I wanted someone on this journey with me. And, and you were the first and only person that I thought of. So um, it was lucky that, uh, you know, that we were both at a place and, and time in our lives where we could commit to the project. And I remember, you know, as we've talked over the last couple of weeks about kind of this and what this means for the future, I know that you've got such incredible things ahead of you. And, you know, what the one thing that I didn't want to do is make sure that or the one thing I wanted to do was make sure that Single Daddy Daily was a support system for you, your family, your friend, you know, you're all of, uh, you know, you're the DNA of, of Single Daddy Daily or part of it. And so um, I know that this is kind of one of those weird things where we're, I, I know we're not saying goodbye and I kind of think it sounds like we're doing that. We're just saying like, you're going to take a step back, focus on all the things that you're excited to share with us in August. Um, and Single Daddy Daily is obviously going to continue on. And, and I think some of the things that we're excited about is to share some new guest hosts, um, I'll be doing a lot of just, you know, one-on-one -on -one interview type of things. You know, we, we still got our website, we still got all of our digital content and you're going to still contribute to that. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's just one of those, I think this is a podcast where we're saying you've got some incredible things in your future. We can't wait to support you on that one. We're pissed off at you that you're going to make us wait till August to, to let us know exactly what that is, but we'll wait patiently. Yeah, it'll be worth it in the end. And that's the thing. At the end of the day, like I'm here to serve you all, the, the people listening to this episode, uh, to this podcast. I've been a part of this journey because I can't tell you. And you, you see the messages we get and people reaching out to us. Like, dude, thank you so much for putting this, uh, this podcast out there. Um, I've, I've had countless people reach out and, and who are going through hard times. And I think at least one of, e at least one of the episodes has impacted someone in a positive way by listening to it and realizing that they're not alone in this journey. So I'm still committed to helping the single parents out there. Like just know that I'm still here with you, even though I'm not, you know, won't be a part of the platform so much. Uh, but I am here to help you guys out. So if you ever do want to reach out, you know, on social media, like I'm an open book, please feel free to reach out to me. This is something I'm passionate about. And my hope is to be able to come back to this at some point in time, 
to really give it the time and attention and energy it needs to help people heal during this process. Because I think what the mission of Single Daddy Daily is, is not just for single dads, but single parents and helping them realize that they're worth it to continue on. They're worth it to their kids, to themselves, to their families, to fight this good fight, if you will, um, and just realize that you're not alone in this. And so I just want to make sure all you guys listening, you know, understand where my heart is and, and um, what my hope is for the future for you all. And uh, thank you guys for letting me be a part of this, Evan, thanks. And thank you for um, all you guys listening and all the support throughout. What, has it been a year since we started this? Or how long I think it's been, been over listening? a year now. Oh, over a year? <laughs> okay. I think so. I don't know. <laughs> My timeline's way off. I feel like we've been in captivity or not captivity, but <laughs> we've been locked down for like years now. What year is it? It's, it's, 20, it's 2027, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I, and a couple, a couple months ago it was 2020, so... <laughs> It's time warp. Like a wormhole. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool, man. So, um, yeah. So, like I said, you're you're part of the DNA. You're part of the Single Daddy uh, Daily family, um, as we all are. This is a community, and so I wanted to say more than anything that how much I've appreciated having you as a partner, as a as a co-host, as someone on this journey over the last month, seven years, however long it's been, uh, you know, somewhere in, in between there, and you know. I, I know you've just got such incredible things ahead of you and I, I'm so excited to see what those are and, and how we can support you. So excited to have you back when, you know, when you've got the time, you know, whether that's as a guest or guest host, whatever that is. Um, but just, yeah, know that you're part of the family and, and will always be. And so uh, as we follow your journey, uh, as it kind of, you know, goes wherever it's going to go in the next couple of months and, and years. Um, yeah. It's uh, you know, single parents out there, I think have, gotten so much from everything that you brought to this podcast and i know that uh we wouldn't be where we're at without you so thank you so much and uh yeah I, i'm i'm already waiting for august so <laughs> yeah i know same here it's going to be a lot of work to get to where i need it to be before i can like start marketing it and promoting it and, and announcing it but once like i said once i do it'll be worth the worth the wait and just just a little um fyi i guess if you don't mind me is may this today's may 7th 2020 and uh, May 7th, 2011, was the day I started Fit, Fit, Fit. So I had this crazy You're idea to, to get fat on purpose. Yeah, today's the nine-year anniversary of when I started this journey. <laughs> uh, if, you go to, if you go to my YouTube channel and watch my very first video, I'm like this you know, younger version of myself, less gray hair, less wrinkles. Um, I was married at the time. I was Mormon at the time. Go watch my first video. It's definitely very funny to watch. But yeah, nine years ago is when I started this journey. And here we are nine years later because of that experiment that I did, you know, uh, uh, so many good has come from, from that one crazy idea where, you know, I'll be honest with you. A lot of people thought it was a stupid idea and I wasn't sure if it was going to be successful or stupid. It could have been stupid and, and no one would have watched it, but you know, it, it, it just, I guess what I want to say is if you are ever afraid of an idea that you have that might sound stupid or might be stupid to other people, but you believe in, then hopefully this will give you a little bit of courage to move forward with it even though there might be haters, there might be people that tell you otherwise, because I'm glad I did it. I have no regrets doing what I did, even though being fat, overweight was really, really hard, harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> so it was very humbling. Yeah, that's a great but, message, right? Because I think so many people right now are going to have to reinvent themselves uh, with all of the changes that have happened as a result of this virus, with all of the things, you know, the people that have been laid off, unemployment's at the highest it's almost ever been. So you know, now is the time for people to reinvent themselves. And I, I love what you just said is there's no reason to be afraid. Uh, don't yeah. let anybody other than yourself, you know, dictate your future. And it's, yeah, fear is, fear is never a reason to stop doing something. And look where that got you nine years ago. Happy anniversary, by the way. Yeah. Thanks, man. It's been, it's been, you know, interesting. So much, so much has happened in the past nine years since that first video went out on YouTube. Um, but anyways, it was good times and I've learned so much and grateful to be here on Single Daddy Daily. And um, yeah, I'm just, I, I really am here to help uh, the single parents out there on their journey because, you know, we're all on this journey together. Even though you and I survived, <laughs> we survived our divorce, you know, by no means is our journey easy. It, the, the path forward is not like we've arrived and we're done and, and the, the struggle and the suffering is over it's still there and it will still come and go to teach us the lessons we need to learn. So uh, thanks for letting me share what I've learned over the years um, on this podcast. So absolutely. Again, thank you guys. All right. Well, I, I think that's a perfect way to end this thing. <laughs> so 
do me a favor. Uh, the, this will not be the last time, but it might be for a little bit. So sign this one off one more time. Yeah. Um, just want to say, you know, thank you guys for tuning in each and every week to the Single Daddy Daily Podcast. Um, I know Evan and his team, they do a great job at trying to put out the most value, uh, the most content that is relevant and helpful to all the single parents out there. So just, you know, just know that we are appreciative of you all for being here and there's more to come in the future. So um, head over to singledaddydaily.com or subscribe to the podcast on, on uh, not YouTube, <laughs> iTunes. <laughs> um, and we'll be back, or Evan will be back very soon. And I'll be back soon as well. Absolutely. All right, buddy. Thank you so much. How really that? appreciate that. And we will, uh, we'll see you guys all soon.